Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a couple of products that I have been trying and I have actually been liking. But the first thing I want to mention to you is what I have been doing for my neck. Now, I mentioned this briefly in one of my other videos, but it didn't go into any kind of detail. And I know that there's been a number of YouTubers that have actually talked about this, but I am doing the eight week program. I started this on December 23rd. I had Jay take pictures of my neck and I did a little tiny video clip that I am going to insert into this clip. This is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More and this is actually their neck sculpting cream. I really love the idea of this. I love the ingredients of this. I'm going to link all the information. It does come with this device and I've showed this before when you just put this on your neck and you, you gently massage the cream in and up. And it would be really super awesome if it did turn the clock back and make my neck look wonderfully young again. Which, when my neck is raised like this, it doesn't look all that bad. But when I'm in a more natural looking down position or whatever, you can definitely see, you know, the wrinkles that I have going on in my neck. But, you know, my neck has almost seen 65 years, so what do I expect? So this is really awesome and I'm going to insert the clip right now so you can see. So I am going to be starting the Dr. Brandt neck sculpting cream system. What this is, is basically a treatment for your neck that you apply once a day and you apply this and you go up your neck. You also have a tool that is provided. You've probably seen this because I do know a few other women have discussed this. So today is December 23rd, 2018 and tonight I am going to start this. Now I'm going so hopefully as you could see the in, in the photos that Jay took we're going to try to duplicate the same time and take it again next Sunday every two weeks we're going to update and take photos and then I'm going to just kind of really track my progress but as you can see I'm really excited about using this because I do think your neck and your hands age you terribly when you are a mature woman an aging mature woman the other thing that I was like really super excited about, and, and again, this is also something that many of you have seen other content creators receive and review, and I was like, wow, this is the Emile Cordon, and this is their lip balms. They've sent me four jars of their luxury lip balms. When I have an opportunity, when they reached out to me and they said, would you like to try this? Of course, it'd be a no-brainer for me. Of course, I would like to try it. I must tell you, it is really nice. It was really nice. I have on, on my lips, <laughs> I have on the Chick Chick Boom. Chick Chick Boom. And each of these comes with a little tiny spatula. You can see this is dirty because I just put it on before the video. So it comes with a little tiny spatula that you can keep with the product, obviously, and the idea is that you're not gonna be dipping your fingers in here. You're gonna dip the clean spatula in here, and that's exactly what I did. I actually love this color, but I think that the product itself, the way it went on, was so nice and smooth. It's not tacky, it's not sticky. I don't know how long it's gonna last on my lips, but nothing really does last a whole long time on my lips, so. The colors that I got, Moroccan Mint. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells minty. It does, it smells minty, it smells very refreshing. And the other one that is smells really wonderful is St. Bart's Sofell. So so I can never pronounce words right. But this has a little bit of a, a coconutty smell. You can see the color, it's very, it's very clear. So I have like two that are sort of clear. And then I have the powdered rose, the chick chick boom. Those are the two the two colored ones. So the chick chick boom is what I have on my lips. 
the powdered rose I have not tried yet. So I just received these four jars. They put a card in there with a little note and it's just a lovely, I think a lovely presentation. It came well packed, well secured, and all of them came with the spatula that you can use the product with. So I absolutely love that. I think that was really, that was really great. And it was an awesome opportunity for me to try it. Anyway, so that is that. The other thing that I had received that I wanted to mention, and this actually came from the Octoly Network, and this is Kevin Akon. This is the mascara. I actually have been using this mascara. This is the Expert Mascara, Kevin Akon. This was sent to me via the Octoly Network from Kevin Akon in exchange for a review. This is a lovely mascara. I have it on. It is, for me, I've used it, oh gosh, I want to say I've used it almost every day for a week. There's been no lumping, no clumping, or anything of that nature. I really like how it goes on. The brush is very nice. I'm going to show you the brush. The brush is very nice. I hope you can see that. And more importantly, it lasts me all day without any you know, big flakes or without any black smudges anywhere or, or anything of that nature. So it does, it lasts me all day. I really like this a lot. I think this is a really nice mascara. So this was sent to me for review and it does pass my mascara test. And you know I'm on a quest for mascaras. I'm always trying mascaras because that is the one makeup product that I would never leave home without. I would not leave home without mascara on my eyes, ever. Even though my eyelashes are dramatically better than they have ever been, I would not leave home without my mascara. No way. So the other thing I just wanted to mention is my wig. This is my Hayden wig, but this is in a different color. And for those of you that have asked about this color, this is 88H, it's just slightly more platinum highlights than the other one that I have. I really like how this wig feels, how it goes on, and I also like how comfortable it is to wear it all day. I went out last weekend, I did Christmas shopping, I had my Hayden wig on, I had the different color on, the one that, my original color. And it just, it just works really well for me. I really, I really like it a lot. I think it's, um, I don't know, I like the wig. And it does make it a lot easier when you shoot YouTube videos to be able to put something like this on your head and be done with it. I really, that makes it easier for me anyways. So that said, this is being filmed on December 30th, but you're not gonna see this till after New Year's. I am probably gonna insert in here, if this is not too long, a couple of clips from Christmas and a couple of clips from New Year's, and then I'll probably upload this either Tuesday or Thursday in January. So you won't see this till 2019, guys. So I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve. Hey, I had to jump back in here, guys, because I wanted to tell you that Henry Margu on his Facebook page, which I will link in the description box below, is having a wig giveaway, and that is the wig of your choice. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So this is actually running until January 8th. All you have to do is you have to go over to their Facebook page, you have to like their page, and you have to use the hashtag free wig. So make sure you follow those rules, go over, like his page, use that hashtag. They're going to, on January 8th, I don't know when, but on January 8th is the last day, but they're going to do a random picker through the comments, and all of those that have liked their page, and you know there is a way to tell whether you've liked a page or not. Um, it's much easier to do than in YouTube world where it's really hard to, you know, to find your subscribers because it, it's not sorted. Where on Facebook business page, there is a little section you go to, and you can see people who've liked this page, and it's usually by date of liking. So, um, so yeah, make sure you like their page and then make sure you leave a comment. You also like the video, obviously, that they have out there or the art, the post that they have out there and you make sure you do use the hashtag. So good luck. You get to pick your wig if you win. You get to pick your color, your style, and that's really awesome. And this is, again, this is Hayden. So, and this is the 88H. So this is Hayden, but this is in the original color that I got. And I'll list them both below. This is the one that I've worn the most. And I did use some dry shampoo. I mean, right now they're showing shiny because of the light. But 
I use a little bit of dry shampoo and it brings down in the natural light the shine. This is just a shade darker. So I don't know if it even is going to show the difference all that much. Can you see a difference? <laughs> Anyways, this one is a little bit, I think, longer for some reason than this one. So, you know, there's slight variations apparently, but this is just a tad bit longer. I absolutely love my Henry Magu wigs. I love the lace front. I love the monofilm on top. I love the fact that you can actually part these on either side because it's not too thick. It's not, it doesn't have too much hair. There's no huge amount of permatease, airy. It's not, it's not the type of, um, you know, when before I started to experiment with the wigs, I was thought, oh, they must be so awfully hot. The new, these new styles, the newer wigs, they're not. They're very, very comfortable very comfortable to wear. I think you just need to find the style that you really like. So if you're, you know, interested in this type of a style, a beachy wave look, I'll link the colors below in the description box to give you an idea. It's, uh, it's too bad that with modern medicine being the way it is, that they have not come up with a cure for hair loss. And I think hair loss or hair thinning is particularly more um, devastating for a woman than for a man because it's more accepted for a man to lose his hair at a certain age or to become balder. Hey, are you talking about me? <laughs> I love you, babe. <laughs> then for a woman, it's almost like sort of taboo to talk about hair loss if you're a woman. But it is very common, a very common thing. Many women suffer from hair loss and thinning hair. And many celebrities that you see that have drop dead gorgeous hair, the majority of them are wearing a wig of some sort. You know, they really are. And it surprised me the first time I realized that because I had, I had been watching a celebrity on a movie and then I saw them somewhere else and the hair is completely different. And then I was reading an article and said, yes, of course. And I can understand because even, you know, even as a YouTube creator, content creator, it is a heck of a lot easier for me to slap on a wig than fix my hair. Yeah, I don't know why it's such a taboo topic, but wigs have come a long way, a real long way. And this again is Henry Magu Hayden. I have demoed a lot of uni wig, shorter wig styles on my um, channel before. And I think what I'm gonna do, if there's an interest, I think I'm gonna probably pull them out and then maybe just do a, um, a video dedicated to all the different wigs. I've had some people want me to do a video showing how I put my hair up in my fake bunny thing, so I'm gonna do that as well. So that's what I wanted to add on, and, and stay tuned for some Christmas vlogging clips. And then after that, just a little bit from New Year's, and uh, see you in my next video. So Bye, It's guys. Christmas Day, and the sky behind me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. We're heading out to go get my mom, and then we're gonna go to my sisters, and then my your son, sons. and then we come home. Yeah, and we'll have our own Christmas. Ooh. Isn't he sweet? Of course. <laughs> and we are off and driving. I was gonna say off and running, but we're off and driving. Or he's driving. So here we are. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is my mom, my dad. I know you can barely see him. And JJ. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And to my cousin's daughter who's in Bangkok, you have a, a message for Lenny? Hello, Lenny. Wish you all is good. And to to machen was to gerne machen tust to viel essen und gute Zeit und fröhliche. A ganz glückliches neues Jahr. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she's in Bangkok, so she's not with family, but yeah. still. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. Here's mom. Hi. Have a mama cake. Oh, she's got a mama cake. Very delicious. She made it. And now here's the tree. Hmm. Isn't it pretty? I have been a bad girl today. So there's my sister. She's checking out the the photos that I took for approval. And as you can see, I have my geeky glasses on. She does too. Yep. We're both blind. So we just finished. We had an awesome meal. 
And here's my little pagey coming to see. And um, Christmas tree and everything is all decked out. But we had, was dinner not really good? It was awesome. I overate. I had a little bit too much wine too, but. And every year we pose with silly Christmas hats on and we make funny faces and then we take a serious shot. So we are on our way, there's JJ driving. We're on our way to go pick up the Chinese food and we just watched Outland, the Outlander episode again. I'm just gonna title it, Jamie, What Have You Done? So if you're an Outlander fan, oh my gosh. Next week's gonna be unbelievable. But you know what, I think the season is almost over. It's half, half done, yeah. It's not fair, it's half done just not fair. Anyways, we're starting our New Year's celebration. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. Wishing you all a very happy, very healthy, and prosperous, and fun 2019. Yep. Did I catch it all? No. It's, it's, film. <laughs> it's filming. It's happy filming. Happy New Year, yeah. everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Thank Year. You. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.